Last week we talked about some of the games I was going to be covering, either games that I've mostly games that I've played that got either updates or DLC drops at some point, not necessarily even in the most recent future, recent past, because sometimes I miss them and it goes a long way. So I was able to check out the new Borderlands stuff that they dropped, but the real first Borderlands DLC is this Thursday. It's like Moxie's attack on Handsome Jackpot. It's a derelict space station that Handsome Jack had built before he got killed. And that's going to be the DLC drop in this Thursday. So I'm going to jump on that, play through that. It should be a lot of fun. And there's actually, I believe, four DLCs to be dropped for Borderlands 3, which is going to give us playability over the next, you know, six months to a year, which is good. Good stuff. Stranded Deep update. I'm still playing through some Stranded Deep, having some fun with that game. I did stream Ghost Recon Breakpoint. The stuff that was added in there was just faction missions and stuff. It's cool if you really enjoy the game. I like the game a lot. So I didn't make any videos on that, but I streamed it. It was a lot of fun. I do enjoy it, but it can get a touch repetitive. I think in those games they're going to have to work on in the future... You know, driving the story more with main missions rather than just having this absolute open world with a minimal amount of main missions. I think they need to reverse that a little bit. It's going to bring a lot more quality to these games because we want to knock out the repetitiveness of it. I mean, there's going to be a little bit in there and you want that. You want a lot of places to go fight, but the, it's gotten out of hand. So... I'm hoping that people are going to do that. Talked about Metro Exodus last time. I was able, with my new graphics card, to get this thing working. I had to turn on ray tracing and turn it on to high mode, and I finished it. And surprisingly enough, I finished it in just two episodes. I think they were two one-hour episodes. So that Metro Exodus DLC was pretty short. It was okay. But I'm told that the next DLC coming out in early 2020 is going to be really good. We talked about it a little bit last time. It's going to be through the, the eyes of Sam, the American uh, U.S. Marine. And it's going to be a little bit more out in the open world, kind of how Exodus was. Not necessarily down in the tunnels, which should be good. Obviously, I talked about Red Dead dropping on PC last time. I still It's still got issues, so I'm not even looking at that. Other than that, We Happy Few, you know, that was another game that I haven't, I, I forgot a little bit about what the game was all about. And so I decided to stream it. I actually streamed it today. So I probably won't make a video on it, but I'm going to stream it again on Wednesday. It is a lot of fun. This last DLC, you actually are playing as a, as a lady with a whip. So they've integrated in like whip parkour. <laughs> so you cast your whip up there and and it's really, really cool. They've simplified, like they've taken all the crap out where you have to collect all the loot and build stuff. You just have to find one type of box to upgrade your whip and your character. Gotten rid of the skill point system. I think in this last installment, this is the third and final DLC for We Happy Few. They just went and simplified it, said, look, enjoy the game enjoy the game and they added in this extra parkour mechanic which is actually a lot of fun it, it kind of took me by surprise today and i'm gonna i'm gonna really enjoy playing through the rest of this now i won't go back and get the other dlcs uh just because yeah that's the way i feel about it but i'm happy i got this one i paid 3.99 for it i believe and it's really fun so other than that Obviously, some of the upcoming games that we got the first quarter of 2020, pretty excited, you know, looking at, we could talk about those down the line, but I'm starting to compile my list of games that I'm looking forward to, and that should be interesting, especially when we really start to nail down some of the actual time, dates that they're going to be released on. Right now, if they're to be determined, that could mean another year out, so... Before you get too excited about some of your favorite games, let's wait till we get some locked in dates, at least within the month that it's going to release. You know, if they're saying quarter or this year, or that year, you never know until it's locked in. But we're coming up on Christmas next week. I'll probably do, 
yeah, I'll probably do another one of these just before Christmas to make sure that everyone's doing well. Remember, this time of season, it's better to give than to get. Depending on how old you are, you might not understand that, but it you will feel so much better and you will be doing so much better to give rather than looking to receive. So that's just a little tip to think about over the next week. And uh, definitely, this is a time to enjoy yourselves. Try and put whatever petty differences you aside with people and friends that you might have and enjoy family and friends. And uh, yeah, I'll probably see you guys on another one of these next week before Christmas.